Hello everyone, my name is Younes and today I'll show you how to find the domain of a function. Let's say for example you're given a polynomial. Now generally a polynomial is defined by p of x equals a coefficient a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus and so on till we get to the last two terms a sub 1 times x to the 1 power plus a sub 0 this is basically the definition of a polynomial the domain is always, if the function is a polynomial, the domain is always all real numbers. So the domain is always all real numbers. If you're asked to write the domain in an interval notation, then you would write all the numbers from negative infinity to infinity. And an example of a polynomial would be as follows. I'm just going to give you guys some random examples that you may come across. For example, p of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 and p of x equals no the coefficient of a polynomial doesn't have to be you know integers they could actually be fractions if you want to, so like the following in polynomial. 9 over 2, x to the fifth, minus 2x, plus 1 half, is also a polynomial. As far as you keep in the, there is no x on the bottom of the fraction, and you'll be good to go then. You may also be asked to find the degree like the first polynomial <clears throat> that I listed here the degree is 2 excuse me and that's because that's the highest exponent you see on on the uh, on the on the polynomial and the degree of the second one is 5 because that's the highest degree you could see also I hope you guys liked the video just keep in mind that a polynomial, once you have it written in this format, p of x, a sub n, x to the n, a minus 1, x to the n minus 1, plus a sub 1, I mean, a, all the way to a sub 1, x plus a 0, like the examples I gave here, it's, the domain is always all real numbers. I hope you guys liked the video again. Have a good one, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.